Just a forewarning, if you're in a good mood, you probably shouldn't watch this video. You should turn away right now because this is basically rage bait. I saw this and I was furious because what we're going to see here is a group of anti-vaxxers harass the parents who are putting masks on their children. They're protesting outside of an elementary school and they're yelling at people. So, as Samuel Braslow tweets out, a group of anti-vaccine slash anti-vaccine mandate activists protested at Walk to School Day in Beverly Hills today. Protesters followed Mayor Bob Wunderlich from the Civic Center to Hawthorne Elementary School, engaging in heated exchanges with parents. Now, here's one exchange in particular that really stood out to me. That's just not okay. That's <sighs> wow. I mean, you're screaming at this mother who's putting a piece of cloth over her child's face during a pandemic, and you're screaming at this woman saying you're traumatizing your child. What do you think is traumatizing her child more, lady? Is it the fact that they have to wear a piece of cloth on their face or this crazy psycho Karen who's screaming at their mom? I just, this right here is insanity. There's no excuse for this. This is truly disgusting. This is the worst of what America has to offer. And this is honestly embarrassing. That lady should be embarrassed. Now, we're going to see more of her in these other clips. So, they merged with another group and they were marching. And then, I don't know if this was before or after they marched, but they arrived at the elementary school. They were standing in front and you're going to see them yell at people and listen to some of the things that they say. Uh, they're going to equate the uh, masking and vaccines to rape. It's just, these people are batshit fucking insane. Take a look. Masking children is child abuse. It is. You mask your child, you're a child abuser. Ron DeSantis, even a minute. Look at the 1918 Spanish flu. They didn't die of Spanish flu, they died of bacteria pneumonia. It's even on the NIH government website. Look it up. They want That's your children. Nice. It's also child Telling you no, telling the children the truth is a trip that they've been propagandized. Lions, not sheep. Yeah. Lions, not No mandates on your children. Mothers, parents should decide what goes into their children and what goes over their face. Stop the mandate. Leave, take your hands off the children, Big Pharma. Yeah, Big Pharma, take your hands off the children. You should choose what goes on your child's face and in your child's body. This is rape. Yeah, this is rape. They're trying to rape our children with this poison. They're going to rape their lives away. Then they were going to have sickly kids that are all belonging to big family dogs. You know your immunity? Lockdown kills more people than the coronavirus. Yes, the lockdown kills more people than the coronavirus. Even the people that did it, that those people that were dying were bombed in our own Now, if that made you mad, this fact is going to make you even more angry. Uh, this is not the first time that this group of idiots have done this. This is the second time that they've protested in front of this elementary school. Look, this is a fucking cult. That's what this is. These anti-vaxxers, they are all a cult. And they're really one and the same. The anti-maskers, anti-vaxxers, anti-vaccine mandates. All of these people, they're one and the same. These people are basically under the delusion that anyone who dares to support any mitigation measures as it relates to the pandemic, they're bad. They're anti-freedom. And there's a different video that we didn't play where the mayor was um, was meeting with them. And he said, look, I'll, I'll bring three of you to my office. We'll have a meeting. And as 
he's talking to them, they're basically screaming at him. And one of them was like, whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. So even they know themselves that they have to kind of self-police because of the way that they appear to other folks who are rational, who actually have brains. But I mean, this is not necessarily something that is surprising at this point in the pandemic. This is kind of just par for the course. It's a regular phenomenon to see these viral videos of idiots screaming at others because of masks or vaccines. But I mean, when you are now targeting children that just is it's especially dirty i mean this was inevitable right the uh debate over masking children in schools has been incredibly controversial and i i don't even want to call it a debate because i think that kind of misconstrues the situation it's a vocal minority of imbeciles who reject the reality of COVID-19 and how severe it is and how infectious it is. Now, there was a study that we covered last week on the program that proves how effective masks are. So when schools had mask mandates, they were less susceptible to a COVID-19 outbreak. There are schools across the country who did not have mask mandates that had to shut down because of COVID-19 exposures and outbreaks. So these people, even after they know all of this, even after they have the evidence, they still refuse to accept what is common sense. Like we can call it science, we can call it reality, data, statistics, but at this point it's common sense and they lack that very clearly. So I have nothing left to say. I have nothing but disdain and hatred for these people. Fuck these people. These people are scum. They're terrible people and history will judge them as such.